Okay, so this is video number two. It's the ice cream cone again. It's formed by these two equations. Uh, z equals the square root of x squared plus y squared. And x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals z. If we look at video number one in cylindrical coordinates, we'll show, we show why that's really, the second equation here is really the equation of a sphere. It ends up being centered at 0, 0, 1 half and has a radius of one half. Okay, but in spherical coordinates, is this a nice thing to represent, ready? We know the thing on the left is really just rho squared. That's by a 3D Pythagorean theorem in spherical coordinates. And we also know that the Z coordinate in spherical coordinates, we can write as, um, rho cosine phi. And so if we take these two things equal, then we end up getting that uh, rho is equal to cosine phi. And that's how rho is bounded. That means that rho is starting at the origin. It's going out to the surface of this sphere. And we know that that distance is always just the cosine of phi. So that's, that's not theta for phi. That's pretty handy. Uh, the other thing we know is that phi itself is bounded from the z-axis down to this line, which is 45 degrees or pi over 4 radians, well, this, this direction at least. So converting this integral into spherical coordinates is actually pretty pretty easy. So let, let's, let's go do this. Let's not forget what we're trying to do here. We're trying to find the triple integral of 1 dv and this is the ice cream cone. Okay, so in spherical coordinates, we know there's always a correction factor. So there's going to be the one here. But the correction factor is rho squared sine phi. And you need to decide on the, the order in which to integrate. So I'm just going to do d rho, d phi, d theta. And we showed a moment ago that rho goes from 0 to cosine phi. Phi is going from 0 to pi over 4. And theta goes from 0 to 2 pi. So this integral is not looking too bad. Let's start going through the steps and see what happens. Let's start to compute this thing. OK. So first, this first inside integral, we're integrating with respect to rho. And we have rho squared there, so we end up with rho cubed over 3 times the sine of phi evaluated from 0 to cosine phi. Uh, so if we plug this in here, we end up getting cosine cubed phi over 3 times the sine of phi. And if we take this 0 and plug it into rho, that's just going to be 0. So it's going to be minus 0 over here. It's actually pretty nice. All right, so we're ready for our next integral. So our next integral will go from uh, 0 to pi over 4. And if you don't mind, I'll put this 1 third out in front here. And then we have cosine cubed phi times sine of phi uh, d phi. And so this is a pretty nice one, actually, because what we can do is we can do a u substitution here. So let's do that. Let's let u equal the cosine of phi. Then we get u du d phi equals negative sine of phi. And I'm already kind of happy about that because I notice I've got a sine phi up here and a sine phi here, so that's looking pretty good. Let's go a little bit further. Let's extend the page a little bit here for us. Uh, let's say that d phi then equals du over negative sine phi. So now we're ready to put all these pieces in. Like this can go here. Uh, this can go here. If we want to, we can even rewrite our, our bounds. We can plug pi over 4 and 0 in for phi and see what we get. Um, 
So the cosine of pi over 4 is rad 2 over 2, and the cosine of 0 is 1. So that might make things nice for us. We'll see what happens. Okay, but let's rewrite the integral for now. So we'll have a one-third out in front integral. And like I said, cosine of 0 is 1. Cosine of pi over 4 is rad 2 over 2. And then this becomes u cubed times sine of phi. And then you have du over negative sine phi. All right. So these things cancel. So we'll put a negative out in front, negative a third, integral 0, I'm sorry, uh, 1 to rad 2 over 2. And then we have u cubed du. And this becomes basically you know, something you learn at the beginning of single variable calculus. So let's hope I don't make a mistake. <laughs> we take the antiderivative there. We get 1 fourth u cubed evaluated from 1 to rad 2 over 2. We'll multiply by that 1 third when we're finished here. Let's, uh, actually, this is 1 fourth u to the fourth. I might have said u cubed, but that's a mistake because we would increase our exponent by 1. All right, let's, uh, let's plug in here. So we'll have 1 fourth times rad 2 over 2 to the fourth power minus 1 fourth times 1 to the fourth power. Well, that's kind of nice. This is just minus 1 fourth. This one over here, got to be a little bit careful with. It's really, um, let's just think of this as well, 1 fourth. And then really rad 2 to the 4th is uh, really rad 2, rad 2, rad 2, rad 2, right? So that's going to be 2 times 2 is just 4. And on the bottom, I have 2 to the 4th, which is 16. So this actually turns out to be, everything said and done, just 1 16th. So I got 1 16th minus 1 4th, which is really 4 16ths. So that's negative 3 16ths. And let's not forget that we had a coefficient in front of this integral. So the coefficient in front of the integral was this negative one-third. So if we multiply that, we'll have negative one-third times negative 3 over 16, which is uh, 1 16th. Okay, so that's looking pretty good. Let's make sure we don't lose any constants. Things are looking pretty good right now. Let's not forget this final integral. This final integral is going to be 0 to 2 pi d theta of just 1 16th. So it's just really nice. Okay, so the integral from 0 to 2 pi of 1 16th d theta. So the antiderivative is just 1 16th times theta evaluated from 0 to 2 pi. We plug in the 2 pi, you get 2 pi times 1 16th is pi over 8. You can plug in the 0, you get just 0, so it's just pi over 8. But that's the same answer we got before with, uh, I would say, quite a few less steps. This is probably the way to go in this case for your local coordinates. So you often have to choose between those two, and hopefully this problem illustrates um, a little bit how you make that decision. Thanks for watching.